Hey YouTubers, how you doing? This is Trey Willis, the NEMT um, mentor. Um, I want to come to you tonight, um, basically in reference to the NEMT uh, forums that's on Facebook and other places. Um, I had a client the other day that basically had, you know, messaged me and was stating, you know, hey, you know, I'm discouraged and things like that. You know, I met some people that was on the um, forum that said that, you know, had some negativity to say about the industry and it's not worth it. Okay, so I want to stop right there in reference to that. The industry itself is very unique. It's very prosperous. Um, it's a great career. It's a great business to have. Um, <clears throat> a lot of you guys have the, has developed some sorts of interest for this and a heart for this and a passion for this. So with that being said, going on the forums, there's nothing wrong with going on the forums because the forums share a lot of good advice to help you grow your business. Um, there's a lot of different people from all walks of life all across the United States that have their own non-emergency medical transport business. I have learned a lot of things. I have met a lot of people being on the forums over the years. Um, from buying vehicles to software and all that is great. However, you're always going to find people in different forms that is going to be negative. There is going to be a lot of people that you're going to go to that you're going to be seeking advice from that's going to be negative about the industry. Now, let me ask you a question. If you put $5 in gas in your car, obviously you're not going to go but so far before your car runs out of gas. And I know it's crazy with the analogy that I'm using, but if you're only putting $5 in your car, you're not gonna get very far in fuel um, because your car is gonna cut off, it's gonna stop. However, if you don't put the effort, this is relating to the $5 I was just saying, if you don't put the effort in your business, you're not gonna get far. And I'm not saying that, you know, the business, um, you know, you know, like I said, I don't know what happened with different people when, they're, when they start the NEMT business up. But the thing is, what you put into your business is what you get out of it. There is a lot of people that get into the industry and they give up so easily because they're not getting the results as fast as they want to. This is not a microwavable success. This in terms is kind of like a hairstylist or a barber. When you are a hairstylist or a barber, you don't graduate cosmetology school and you don't start gaining 40, 50 clients a day because of the fact you have to build your business up. You have to work it. And my, the question I was asked is, is it worth it? Yes, it's worth it. It's like any job that you do. When you go to work, say you work a regular job, you work your way up to the top. You, the only difference is you're working for someone. You work your way from the bottom and then you work your way to the top. Okay, so if you go to a regular job and you are putting the effort into your job, to, to get to the top, why not sacrifice and put the effort into your business and get to the top with your business? I started this company in 2015. And yes, we started with a contract with Pace and it was all fine and dandy, but I did not start out with a lot of private pay based clients. I had to build it up. I had to build the business up with um, brokers and the private pay side. 
The nursing facilities in the area did not know Trey Willis company exists. It took me having to bail a lot of the big companies out in reference to their mistakes, not knocking any company that's out here in the market that I'm in, in the Raleigh Durham market. But there was a lot of times there were mistakes that they were making and we were the cleanup crew. And that's exactly what we still are considered to this day. Our, our private pay base, is is pretty pretty large in the Raleigh Durham Chapel Hill market, but we don't have, you know, multiple multiple contracts and things like that. Um, that is, you know, a lot of the bigger companies have. But what you have to realize is, we enjoy being the cleanup crew. You know, when someone is, they you know drops the ball, we come in and clean it up. So with that being said, you two. The business is worth it. In starting your company, you have to watch who you seek advice from because when you start to go to five, six, seven, nine, ten 10 people, everybody's gonna give you different responses. You could be hyped up and excited. You have this great idea. You have this idea to start the medical transportation business up. You want to get out there. You want to do right by your community. So what you're doing is you're fishing for information. So you go on these forums and I love the forums and you start talking to Lolly, Dolly and whoever, and everybody's going to give you their own input on basically how they feel about the industry. Oh, the industry is great. Oh, the industry is wonderful. Uh, then you're going to have Johnny Joe here. That's going to say, don't do it. Don't, don't do it. It's not worth it. It's a waste of time. And by time you, before you spoke to Johnny Joe, you had joy, you had joy in your heart. You had happiness. You had excitement about being in this company, being opening a company up, getting your LLC started, making those big milestones. By the time you talk to Johnny Joe, he has just killed out you know, things about, he has killed out your happiness and your joy about starting your own medical transportation business up. And now your flame is out. So what I'm saying is be careful who you talk to and keep the dream alive, work it. The, there's business out there. It's what you put into it, your effort. You build your business up. Just don't make a plan to say, I'm gonna start talking to people for this one week and you're gonna quit. It's a continuing process of networking. Get involved in your networking groups in your area. There's big networking groups in the Raleigh Durham market. And I'm sure there's big groups around the, the world um, that you're, you know, wherever you're located at, Milwaukee, Tennessee, wherever. But you have to keep the dream alive. Because guess what? No business. It's ever been easy to accomplish. Everybody that's been in some kind of industry has had some negativity about something. And then there has also been people that has had good positive things to say. So no matter what business you choose, it doesn't matter. You could choose trucking. You can choose, um, you know, starting a, a tour bus company up, a travel agency, a clothing store. There's always going to be negative input about what you're trying to do. So all I'm saying is take advantage of the forums, learn, develop different traits, learn different techniques, listen to what other people have saying about the software, navigation, um, equipment, wheelchair, dealing with bariatric. Um, you know, there's there are a lot of good things people can feed you, but there's also a lot of bad things people can feed you. So just be careful, be very careful on who you allow to pour into your spirit because it can be contamination. That's what I'm led to tell you guys tonight. Grow your business, grow it from the, the bottom, go to the top, work it, work it, work it. Don't just start talking to people for one week, continues to talk, continue to network, continue to grow your company and let it thrive for you. Because there's people 
that is in need of medical transportation. But the problem is when you start out, nobody's know you exist until you have started to develop and build your business up, build your brand and you build your image up. Nobody knew who TNL Transportation was years ago and we built the brand up. You know, we changed our name to RDU, but now people call us from all walks of life. We get referrals from hospitals and things like that, but it did not happen day one. So if you get discouraged based off of what somebody else says and you're only in phase one, you're not going to continue down that road and you're going to be sad. You're going to be down and out. So block that out. Grow your business. Build your dreams up. If you're a husband and wife, work together. You're a team. It's fun building your brand and your image up. But I have learned there's a lot of things you cannot tell everybody when it comes out to building your image and building your business up. You cannot tell everybody, even including family. You have to keep your things secretly and not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. So, grow your business, grow your image, and work it, network, and get your name known. This is Treve Willis, the mentor, motivational speaker. You guys have a spectacular day, spectacular night. Love you guys. Have a good night.